My name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a cardiologist in York. Today's video is entitled A Higher Form of Truth. Several years ago, I was invited to join a fellowship program at one of the most prestigious cardiac institutions in the United States of America. I recall that time as one filled with great joy because I thought it would greatly help my career, but also in part tainted with some trepidation because this place only attracted the best of the best and I didn't think I was bright enough to be mingling with such people. In any case, I turned up with a promise to myself that I was going to make the best out of it. In the first week, I was invited to the departmental research meeting. As I walked in, I saw the chief of the research program at the head of a table and about 15 research fellows with their laptops open, analyzing their in-house database of patients. The atmosphere was tense, noisy, and it all looked very daunting indeed. As the new boy, I thought the only way to try and create a good impression would be for me to try and ask some kind of intelligent question. So I raised my hand and said the following, my name is Sanjay Gupta, I've come from the UK, I've just joined. Could I please ask, what is the question that your research is trying to answer? I thought that that was a reasonable question to ask, but I was surprised when suddenly the chief of the research program looked up, completely stunned. Question? What do you mean question? The question comes last. First, we mine the data, find significant, statistically significant correlations, and then we build a question based on the answers we find. I kept quiet for the rest of the meeting. This just didn't make sense. How can the answer precede the question? But as time progressed, I realized that this was a practice which was more widespread than I had thought. And the reason is that medical research has also become a bit of an industry. The way I see it is that research should be done to attain a higher form of truth. And the only reward of that endeavor should be the attainment of a higher form of truth. As long as the question is a good question and the experiment to answer that question is carefully designed and rigorously conducted, then any answer that it throws up whether it shows a positive result or a negative result is going to be valuable and will contribute to scientific progress. The reward is reaching a higher form of truth. Unfortunately, this is not the reward that many researchers seek these days. It has become more about fame, money, more funding, job promotions, and competition with colleagues. The more publications you have, the more elevated your public profile. Researchers want to be involved with the biggest studies which need the most investment, and often this investment is provided by pharmaceutical companies who in turn are really only interested in selling their product. In addition, journals who publicize the research findings are also interested in selling their publications and therefore are less likely to publish studies that show a negative result as opposed to ones that show a more exciting positive result. Some editors see results which are null as dull and therefore not suitable for audience consumption. Sometimes organizational and business conflicts of interest also contribute to this publication bias. The problem is that it is the studies that are published in the biggest journals which are then used to develop medical guidelines. And as I discussed in my last videos, medical guidelines dictate how doctors manage patients. The more critically I started looking at this, the less confident I felt that the pills I so willingly distribute are as effective as they're purported to be. So as a doctor who initially set out wanting to make a difference, I often question, what is, it, what is it that I actually do? What difference do I actually make? As I've matured, I've started realizing that perhaps the way to make a difference in a profession that is riddled with vested interests and to know that you're making a difference is to spend more time with patients, engage with them, empathize with them, educate them, and empower them. Perhaps this is the higher form of truth that all doctors who truly want to make a difference should aspire to. 
Thank you so much for listening. I'm currently in um, San Jose in California. I'm going to be here for another two or three days. Uh, if anyone wants to meet up for a cup of coffee, please let me know. After this, I fly to uh, Seattle for two or three days and then to Las Vegas. So I would love to meet anyone who has the time and I'd love to have a coffee with you and just get to know people. All right, all the best.